Hello and welcome. I am Nicole Arrington coming to you from Helena, Montana with Big Sky Cards. And today I have a fabulous card to show you using the Words of Cheer bundle and the candy canes. So we'll kind of go ahead and get started. I'm going to set a lot of this to the side. I'm running out of space. Um, because what I'm going to want to do is I want to kind of make the equivalent of my own designer series paper. But I'm going to start off with a piece of real red cardstock that is eight and a half by five and a half. I'm going to fold it in half and then I'm going to actually, I'm going to glue on this piece of basic white, I believe it's five and an eighth. No, nope, five by five by three and three quarters. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue on this piece of basic white. And then I am going to worry about assembly. All right, so I'm gonna set that aside. And the next thing I'm going to take is I've got a piece of real red that I believe this one's four and a half by three and a quarter. Okay, and what I want to do with that, is I wanna make my own designer's, pa designer's paper, designer series paper, and how I'm going to do that is I'm going to take this stamp, I'm going to ink it up with my with my Versamark embossing ink and, oops, did I go down far enough? I don't know that I did. We will just go further. Okay, and then I'm gonna, ooh, oh, never mind. I have to cover up the whole thing. It doesn't go sideways. Okay, I wasn't thinking. Okay, and so I'm just using this piece of scrap to make sure that gets it gets reverse stamped. And if I was doing a lot of those, I probably would adhere this to um, the stamp, the stamp stamp on the jig. Oh gosh, I can't even come up with the term. This guy, I totally forgot its name. But, so if I was doing a lot, yes, I would, ad ad I would adhere that to uh, the Stamparatus. There we go. But I'm not. So one like that is just as quick to do it like that. All right, so then I'm gonna take my white embossing powder and dump it over my candy canes, turn it upside down, Cover this side. And I'm just using, I think these trays are kind of old school. A lot of people will just put their embossing powder in there, get a Tupperware for each color and just do that. I just don't have the room for that. I happen to buy a lot of embossing powder, so I just don't have that room to set aside for that. So I've got the old fashioned tray, but you can also just use a clean sheet of paper and host it over and then dump it back in. And sometimes, you know, having two pieces also helps of paper to catch it when you make 
when you miss pouring it back in. So, um, we're going to take our heat gun and set our embossing powder. Give it that nice white shimmer. I don't, you can't see it on the video, but you know that it's, it's done because you can just see the powder melts into a nice shimmery color. Okay. And all done. So here's what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? So, so pretty. All right. I'm just going to let that dry for a moment. Uh-oh. How did this happen? I've lost one of my leaves. Oh, there it is. All right. Should have three. But I think two sufficient. Two, three. Why, why, why I say, why do you disappear? Okay. Well, well, we'll deal with that. I might have to go cut another one real quickly, or I'll just deal. All right. So what I'm going to do, from the words of cheer, I have cut out in real red the happy phrase, and then in garden green, which I will attach this to, I cut the uh, the bold bolding portion in granny apple green. Like that. And then I will attach this to a piece of basic white cardstock. I will give you the dimensions here in a second. Once, once I have a moment. And I am going to put that on a diagonal. Okay, so the dimensions are four by two. Okay, and I will attach that to that, but before I do, I wanna put a piece of ribbon around. And so this is the Snowflake Splendor. It was on clearance and I happened to buy some and I want to finish some of my ribbon off because I don't even use ribbon that much and yet I seem to have a lot of ribbon. I'll just put it out. But it is so pretty and shimmery. And what I love about this one is I, I take my Stampin' Blends a lot of the time and I will color it the color I want. Right over left. Okay, so because it's clear, I can make it into real red. I can shimmery real red. I can make it into oh, blackberry bliss. I can make it into you know, melon mambo, Bermuda Bay, the coastal cabanas. I mean, whatever I need it. So I I really like that about you know, the blends and the colors that you just don't have to have always what you think you need. You can have a lot of fluff. All right, and I'm just trying to shape this. I'm gonna take my scissors and cut that down. I might cut that off a little. All right, so from here, ha ha ha, whoa ho ho. All right. Set that aside. I will. Ooh, ooh! I missed a, I missed a little hair. Okay, maybe you can see it, but you can just see right there. I can tell I did not get that little corner, so I'm just gonna take my heat gun and finish that corner. Then I can take this whole thing, maybe, 
and glue it down. We are to looking a little, little on the uh, light side there. Oops. Okay, then. Gonna go ahead and get this down. Happy, but not gonna be happy unless I put some holly down. Okay, I can't handle that. I'm gonna have to refill. So, oops. Okay, so when I say I need to refill, I am just using Tombow glue. That's all there is to this. See if I can get a little bit better f visual for you guys. And I am just filling this with the Tombow glue. That's stamping up cells and using this fabulous bottle. I just love these little bottles. I get them from Amazon. And just, I'm not even full, but that will be enough to be able to finish this video. Um, but they're just fabulous in the sense that I can, um, do fine tips work without getting glue everywhere. And I don't have to do the sponge thing and get it messed that way and all that crazy shenanigans. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, obviously I got plenty of glue. I'm going to put a little bit of holly here. Tuck a piece of holly here. Tuck a piece of holly there. Piece of holly there. Piece of holly there. Piece of holly everywhere. And I feel like I need to sing the old McDonald. All right, then we're going to do holidays and grin. Oh, that wasn't very dark. See if I can get a better holiday. Cut off a little angle. And pop it. Get a little holiday to go in there. And then the last thing we're gonna to wanna to do is put a little, little bling into this. Now, I want real red bling. But guess what? 
you know what I don't have? I don't have any real red rhinestones. But I got solutions to this. So, in order to do that, I can come in with my real red blends marker and color. You can't even see from there, but you can color them. Okay, with your blends marker, you can come in and color them. And you get the color you need. What I absolutely love about this is I don't end up with 20,000 different types of rhinestones, and then I don't know when to use them all, or they go out of style, so to speak, before I get them used. Okay, so here I'll bring them, see if we can get you. There, maybe you can see it better there at the angle. But they come out really pretty. And that's what I do have to say. And so, oh my goodness, I got messes here. Move one thing from the other. We'll put some stuff out. card with a little bit of bling. Such a fun card. And I have not used this candy cane stamp very much, but I can't get rid of it because next year there'll be something with candy canes. I can come back and use it all the time because I won't have to remake it. So that will just be fabulous. Check that out. You know, all that, all that pretty color. So I'd like to thank you for watching this video. If you could give me thumbs up, that would really help me um, bring in more traffic. Um, please feel free to leave comments. I love reading those. Um, in addition to that, below is my online store link. If you would like any of these items I have demonstrated here for you today, as well as that shopping list, and then the dimensions are at the very bottom. So, you know, you don't have to purchase to get all this stuff, information. I know, you can figure it out, but it is all given. Um, in addition to that, I love reading your comments. If you have any questions, you can put that in the comment section, or you can email me at bigskycardsnicole at gmail.com. I will get back to you. Um, in addition to that, you want to make some cards, you either A, don't want to invest in all the stuff, or you just don't have the time to put design together and all you've got time is to put them together, so to speak, you can go to BigSkyCards.com where you can get this fabulous card as a card kit. It comes in a set of four to make four of these cards and all you need is this Tombow Glue. So, and that is at BigSkyCards.com. I would like to thank you so much for watching this video and wish you happy crafting time. Thank you. Bye.